Hi, it's me, Rosalinda, and I'm back to show you how to make easy chile rellenos. Um, I first start with fire roasted whole green chilies from Ortega brand, but you can use any brand that you have at your store, the area that you live in. Um, what you can do also is buy the fresh chili and roast them and clean them and do all that and, and make your chili rellenos. But if you're like me, I don't have time and you probably don't either. So I found this to be an easier way and it's very quick. They're fire roasted and they're already clean for you. So if you don't have to take that extra step, why do it, right? So depending on how many people you want to feed, in this little can, there's usually three to four chilies. So I'm going to drain this one. I'm going to use two today for my recipe. And what you do is you take the chili out and I want to show you how clean it is already. See all the seeds are taken out. There's just a few but you get the idea. It's cleaned, they're fire roasted. Sometimes you might find a little dark skin and that's okay to have that. It just means that, you know, a little piece of skin was left on. And all you have to do is rub it off and then just rinse it. This one's not too bad. See what I mean by this little dark spot? It doesn't mean that the chili's molded or anything. It just means that a little piece of the skin stayed on after they fire roasted it. So that's all you have to do. And you might want to rinse it off a little bit. So... I have a half a cup of flour, have three eggs, Monterey Jack cheese, I have some garlic and I have some salt. And we're going to use our blender. So, what you do next is you roll the chilies into the flour. This will help the egg stick a little bit better. Okay? And if you wanted to, you could add some salt and garlic in here, whatever spices you want. This is just what we usually like. and. Um, like I said, you can always put what you want. I already did three chilies here, so I'm going to do these last two. And that's all you have to do. Okay? It's really quick. So, the next step would be to get your cheese. Then you're going to slice it, okay? You get some slices about that big. Sometimes the opening is not big enough, so you might want to cut it a little bit smaller, but this looks okay. So this is what you're going to do. You insert the cheese into the chili like this, okay? So that's what you're going to do to all of them. So after I'm done stuffing the cheese in the chili, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and this is what your chilies look like after you've stuffed them with Monterey Jack cheese, okay? Um, some have them a little bit fuller than, than others, but that's okay. It's going to melt once you cook it. So what you do next is you put your chilies aside, you get about three eggs, and you're going to do the egg whites first, okay? get three of those. We're going to use the yellow part after we blended the whites. So you're not going to throw that away. Okay? You just have to be really careful not to drop the yellow part in. If a little bit gets in there, that's okay. So you want to save this another little dish because we're going to use that later, okay? Okay, so then what I do is I get a little bit of garlic and put it into the egg white mixture. I would say like three or four little shakes. And then you can put as much salt as you want in here. We're a very salty family, so you'll see a lot of my recipes have a lot of salt, but you can reduce the salt if you want, okay? So then you blend it. Get your hand mixer and you blend it until it's nice and fluffy white, okay? That'll take about maybe two or three minutes. And you can see how the white part of the egg has gotten fluffy. And what you want to do is you want to put your oil into your pan so it gets heated up. And this is about 
12 tablespoons of oil. You can use more if you want. So you go ahead and put that in to warm up. So once the whites have left up, you're ready to do the yellows. And you just add that in and blend it. And you see how it starts to get fluffy almost like when you're making an omelet. to make these um, you'll notice that your eggs start to get a little bit watery again so you can just get your hand mixer and um, start mixing them again until they're fluffy so I'll show you what I mean because I have about six chilies and the more it sits the watery it gets so let's go ahead and get some of our mixture And you can get a little ladle or whatever works for you. I would get the chilies up close. So your pan is hot. And you go ahead and throw some down, just like if you were going to make an omelet. And then you put one of the chilies in. Okay? And then you can make several at one time. I would go ahead and put another. So this is what it looks like in your pan, okay, it looks like a chili inside of an omelet. So what you do is you can get your oil and just pour it over your chili like this, okay. And what happens when it's in the frying pan, of course, your Monterey Jack cheese starts to melt really nice. And all you have to do is turn it over. And you can see that's brown already. And that's as, about as long as it, you need to leave it in the pan, just until the other side gets brown, okay? So we're gonna leave those in for a couple minutes and we'll come back and show you what they look like. Okay, so I've already cooked two and this is what they look like. And I put two more into the pan. They almost look like fish. So what you can do is take them out, put them here. And do you see how this one is a little bit lighter than the rest? What you can do is when you have them in here, you can just get the oil and, and just put it over the batter until it gets brown. Okay, and I had mentioned how the liquid gets a little bit watery, a little clear like this. You could just blend it again. Throw it into your frying pan. Put the last chili in there. And it looks a little messy, but really good. Okay. And this is what I mean by browning your egg. You just do this with your oil. And then flip it over, and you can do the same thing. It only takes two or three minutes on each side, four at the most, and it'll be done. When I come back, I'll show you the finish chiles rellenos. Okay, so after you've taken your chiles rellenos out of the pan, this is what they're going to look like. With the recipe that I just gave you, you can make six chiles rellenos, okay? So... You turn them around, you can see it's cooked thoroughly. And put on the plate. You can see all the cheese has melted while it cooked. 
Okay, see that? Okay, so let's give it a try. Nice and cheesy. Yum. So, I hope that you like this tutorial. And I have to apologize, I'm really super tired. Um, I ran out of things to say. But hopefully you can tune in and leave your comment. Share with your friends on Facebook. And if you are a YouTube customer, you can subscribe to my channel. And there will be a lot more upcoming tutorials. I've had a request today for albonica soup, uh, mole, and rice again, and more recipes to come. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you.